We're finally at Disney World. We've waited so long to come with our whole family. We're really excited to ride all the rides, to see all the shows. We've got our ponchos for the water rides, and here we are, and oh no. It's crowded. So what do we do? You add the max pass to your ticket, and you come with us to see how you can make the most of your day. And this video is all about that very subject, so come on. Thanks for watching. I wanted to let you know that even though this video is about Max Pass and Fast Passes at the Disneyland Resort, there are some days we feel that it's not magical because it's so overcrowded. Like when there are so many people you can't see the pavement. So I wouldn't say this video applies to every day, but this is mainly for the normal days throughout the year that aren't on a holiday or at Christmas time. We hope you get something out of it and enjoy. Before you get to the park, you'll want to get the Disneyland app on your phone. When you get your park tickets or annual passes, you'll scan each one separately and add each person's info so you can create your group. We highly recommend the Max Pass, which is what most of this video is about. You can purchase that when you purchase the tickets or after you scan them on the app. And at the time of this video, they're about $15 per ticket. Totally worth it. You can basically plan your day from your phone and you get all your photos added directly to your phone. Once your whole group is added on the app and you have a max pass for each guest, now you can get a fast pass. Quick note, anyone who wants to get a fast pass needs to have entered one of the parks. If you haven't scanned your park ticket at an entrance, you will not be able to choose a fast pass. You have your max pass, you're ready to go, and you want to put in that first ride. What ride should we put in, guys? All right, come here, I'll tell you a few secrets. Here's a couple things you should know. Certain rides fill up way faster than others. Space Mountain, Indiana Jones, or if you're in DCA, Cars Land, Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are the ones that fill up the fastest, so if you want those early, and the sooner you get in the park, the better, and you get those, that's excellent. The other ones that do not fill up and are pretty much available all day, is that, unless it's super crowded, or Buzz, Roger Rabbit, It's a Small World, and even Big Thunder. Big Thunder does not fill up. So those you can get later. You wanna grab Space or Indy if you're over here and wait when it's super crowded, go into the other ones. Even Splash Mountain will be open later. Unless it's super hot, then you may wanna grab it a little sooner than later. So grab those two and you're good to go. Or if you're over in DCA, grab those because Goofy and Credit Coaster Although the kids want to do those things, they're kind of always open. And you can grab those fast passes anytime you want. So, lesson number one, which fast pass? Star Tours Indy. Enjoy. Once you have your Max Pass and the Disneyland app downloaded on your phone, you just click on the Disneyland app and there's your home screen. Then you click on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen. And you click on the very top one, get fast pass with Disney Max Pass. It's going to show you a list of the people in your party. We have five, but there's one missing today, so we need to click him out because he has not come into the park. So then you click continue when you have your party checked. Now you're going to get to choose your park, and we're in Disneyland, so I'm going to click that one. And now you'll see a list of the attractions that are available for Fast Pass and their Fast Pass return time right underneath them. So you can kind of scroll and see what you want. As you can see, some of the bigger rides like Hyperspace Mountain, that's coming back very late tonight and it is only 3.08 p.m. It is a Sunday in December, so it's a little more crowded than usual. Indiana Jones is a little later. The Matterhorn's only at 5.55. You've got Roger Rabbit. Splash Mountain is about right now. You can see all of these right here. If you scroll down, it'll tell you which rides do not have Fast Pass available any longer for the evening. So I'm going to go back up here and just for ease, we'll choose Big Thunder Railroad. Mm, let's do Splash. Okay. So we have a request to do Splash. So it's 3.10 p.m. We're going to click on that and it'll ask you to confirm it. Those are the people in my party. That's the return time. 
So I'm going to hit confirm. And there it is. They'll also let you return five minutes before that time and five minutes after that time. So I can come anywhere from 3.05 to 4.15 p.m. So if I hit done, It'll tell me this party can make a new fast pass selection at 3.38. So I usually just set a timer or an alarm on my phone to let me know when I can make the next fast pass. Hey, we're in front of the Matterhorn. We have a video on this ride and its history and its building and everything if you want to watch it right here. This ride, in my opinion, has the best single rider line that there is. And the reason is, the ride is in a box sled with single rider seats anyway, so you might as well stand in line with your family in the fast pass line and they give you a little ticket for single rider. Then you go and the line is really short unless it's super crowded in the park, which it is sometimes. But if it's not, you just go stand in the line and you get in your single rider seats. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you even get to be on the ride together. Okay, the standby line was 60 minutes for this, so we'll see. I'll start it right now. Thank you. We went to where you go for the fast pass line and we get the single rider pass. And then we're going to go into the single rider line. or just a photo option, I guess you could say. This one and Space Mountain. That's why you don't want to single ride these rides. The photo option is the most fun with people you know, with family, with the friends, with your party that you came with. It's a great option. In DCA, the attractions with the photo option are Cars, Guardians, and Incredicoaster. You can single ride all those, but I would suggest that you ride them with your party so you get a great photo. And definitely plan your photo before you go on the ride so it's more fun for memories. exactly 17 minutes from the time we started walking to the time we got on the ride. So that's pretty good and you get some fun photos with some strangers you don't know. We 
are in Disney California, and here in Disney California, you should probably get Incredicoaster later in the day. It's always available, and people don't realize that. But Guardians and Cars, and sometimes even Soarin', go really fast. And so you want to get those early, and then wait for Goofy Sky Scope, Incredicoaster, uh, even Grizzly River Run, unless it's hot, that one's always open. The surprising one that does actually get filled up relatively fast is Toy Story. You usually have a couple hours wait before you can use that one. So if you want to ride that, grab that one early as well. All of these have single rider, but as Elisa said, some of these have great photo opportunities, so you may not want to single ride them. This part of DCA, there are a lot of little rides to ride while you're waiting for the big ticket fast pass that you've already got. Now, I will suggest that in Goofy Sky School, the standby line takes forever, but the fast pass is always available. So if you slide that fast pass, you'll get on that ride really quick. But this area has Silly Symphony swings, the jelly up and down things, whatever they're called. This thing flying over my head right now. There's just a lot of fun stuff to ride while you wait for that Toy Story Fast Pass that takes a long time. Or Guardians or Cars or something else. So enjoy this area. If you don't have anyone in your party to take your photo, you can always ask a Disneyland photographer to do it. But be careful, sometimes they ask you to do ridiculous things, although those are memories too.